What was the Secretary of State's reaction to the news that almost all gender clinics refuse to cooperate with the CAS review? And does she agree that this is a too important issue for a circle the wagons attitude? What can she do to ensure that government guidance is followed to the letter and in spirit when we tackle a gender ideology that seems to be running rampant through our public institutions? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Madam Deputy Speaker, this is not about my emotions, but I can tell the Honourable Gentleman I was disgusted and I was angry. And what is more to me, this is about um, the, our public space, our public space being able to have these conversations. And if, for example, a, mem uh, a part of our public institutions, whether it's uh, NHS, schools or whatever, are asked to respond to a very, very thoughtful and careful review such as this, then of course they must do so, mm -hmm. because this information doesn't belong to them, it belongs to their patients, it belongs to future patients, because we want to shape the services to help them, and it belongs to us uh, as a nation. And so, for me, the, uh, the welcome about turn that they were now going to provide this data happened, I'm pleased it's happened, but my goodness me, I wish they'd done it earlier.